Okay, g'day guys, we're in here, welcome back to the workshop. We are still working on Mad Cat Money. I've still got my Kilkenny because I'm recording these one after the other. Ah, damn, that's good. Um, what I have this time is unfortunately only two lances. I know, I was upset as well, but I'm just showing the sort of raw firepower you can bring to bear here. Now, my first one I thought was pretty good as far as raw firepower goes. I mean, four LRM carriers, two hatchetmen, two patterns, and a light mech lance. I uh, There's a lot of firepower there, right? There is a lot of firepower. But what I want to try and wanted to try and do was give you a slightly different um, view. So I, I tried to stick with mostly mechs. I do have um, some vehicles in there because, as I think I've said before, Savannah Masters are, they're just gold as far as sea build builds go. And yeah, you can use them as a cheese thing to try and get more activations and that sort of thing, but they are also a useful piece of equipment. They're a very useful unit especially if like me you like using lrms and you enjoy using them indirectly a savannah master is a perfect spotter it is fast it is cheap it is difficult to kill at least it's difficult to hit if you do hit it you kill it straight away so i should probably rephrase that it is difficult to hit if you maneuver it properly and with a couple of them, you can spot with one, shoot with the others. A medium laser is not nothing. It isn't fantastic as far as damage goes. I mean, the Mad Cat has 231 points of a hammer, but it still technically only has 12 in the head. I mean, you know. And it's still only got, what, 9 and 7 in its torsos in the rear. So... Two medium laser hits in the rear to the torsos. Either torso will kill a torso. And that, that'll breach a torso. So two medium laser hits to the same rear torso will breach. So, yeah. I mean, they're pretty useful. And they're super cheap. Super cheap. Under 100 grand for each one. So, strongly encourage. Um... But yeah, what it, what I did with those was just round out the money. I was I was close, but I couldn't really get any more large units. So what I've got this time is two lances. I have a fire lance because it's me. Um, but what I've done is I've built it actually to the specifications. Now, if you don't remember, seventy five percent of the units in this formation must possess either the missile boat or sniper unit roles. Now you round that up for larger numbers, but basically for this, three of them have to be either snipers or missile boats. And I've managed that. The one that isn't any of those is the hatchet man. I bought him in for harassment and fun and because I really, really like the hatchet man. Now, if I was playing higher level, I might trade a few things around and maybe put a night sky or maybe even try and get an axe man in there somewhere, but... The Hatchet Man is my go-to if I want uh, something beefy but maneuverable and with reasonably solid kick. I mean, it's it's got some punch to it. It is pretty good. So, the standard Hatchet Man is 3.129390 million, if you follow that. It's a little over 3.1. Uh, the next one up I got is a missile boat, and that is the Catapult, my all-time favorite. Um, and it wasn't included in any of the others, and that may strike some people as weird, but it is 5,790,125 sea bills by itself. Uh, I can get a full lance of LRM carriers for only 2 mil, well, less than 2 million more, right? They're, they're like seven and a half million for four of them, right? So if the catapult's going to be indirecting, I'm far better off going with something else, right? I'm, I'm better off going with something else to fire indirect than a catapult. The longbow was a good move because it's got just mainly LRMs 
I and a lot of LRMs, and then I backed it up with smaller, cheaper units so that I didn't go over. And I couldn't afford to get a catapult. I tried, I wanted to, but I would have gone under the three lances. So, but here he is, like I say, all good. He's back. So we've got a hatchman, a catapult. We have a marauder. I mentioned the marauder in the BV. Um, 6.6 million for a standard everyday marauder, the one with the um, two PPCs that I discussed in the BV video. Um, it's just solid and it counts as a sniper, which means that it is moving up with, it's pushing forward your firelands requirements. And then I got an awesome, just an 8Q awesome. And that is six and a half million, six million five hundred ninety-eight thousand one hundred and seventy-eight. So basically 6.6. .6. Um, and yeah, that is the fire lance. So two of them per turn get the sniper ability, which halves their range. So I'd probably be leaving the catapult at the back and give him that. And then if I could stand the awesome up on something high where he gets a, a good solid view, I'd probably give him that as well. And then the other two are just moving forward and trying to trying to catch some ag cat in a in a flank somewhere. The Marauder would probably go one way and the Hatchman go the other way. I don't think I'd run anybody straight down the throat of a mad cat. That would be silly. Uh, and then I got a support lance. So the support lance is going to support a fire lance, which means that one of its units gets the sniper ability, which means probably it's going to be the locust. The three savannah masters that I used to fill out that lance are most likely going to be spotting. Um, now, each one of them can spot, but you only need one to not fire in order to spot for all of the incoming um, fire, right? So that catapult can use any single one of those Savannah Masters. As long as they don't fire, he's going to have a reasonable time of it, right? But back in the first one where I had four LRM carriers and one Savannah Master in the support lance, that Savannah Master can spot for all four of those LRM carriers. So as long as he doesn't shoot, I've got a good solid um, spotter. And then once he dies, I've got the rest of the lance there. But yeah, I got a standard everyday locust for 1.5 million and three Savannah Masters to round the lance out with 275,001 seed bills. <laughs> I love that. I checked that like four times, 275,001. Um, that entire force, so the fire lance with the awesome marauder, catapult and hatchetman, and a support lance with a locust and three Savannah Masters comes to... 23,940,211. So a little a little under 300,000 short of mag cat money. Mag cat money is insane, guys. It is insane. If you if you want to try this out, if you want to give this a go and see how you do, then you have to have the time, the space, and the ability to play this over, like like I said, a couple of days and a nice big map. But given the number of units involved, the sheer mass of firepower that's coming, I don't think the Timberwolf would survive. But I wouldn't give him completely no odds at all, right? If he's taking good, solid shots, if the person behind that... Um, Mad Cat has some skills as far as tactics and uh, wargaming in general goes, and they can get some good solid dice rolls in, then they can take some of these lighter, faster units out in an eye blink, right? Single turn, you don't even know you've been hit and you're dead, right? Those um, ER large laces alone would probably rip through stingers, wasps, locusts, and they will obliterate a Savannah Master. Um, he can take technically 10 points to the front and not die, but you've still got things like motive system hits and all that sort of stuff. So if he takes an LRM shot anywhere except the front, he's going to have a really seriously hard time. And even to the front, you're not going to be happy. So, yeah. 
I I think the Timberwolf has a shot, but it is not a very good. It is very slim. I'd give him maybe 10, 10% chance to, to pull through and take uh, the whole lot of these guys down. Will he kill some? Yes, definitely. None of these units, these forces that I've set out here, would survive completely intact against this guy. He will rip them apart. But War of Attrition, they've got the numbers, right? And as long as you're focused and you're using your units properly, you can take him down. But anyway, that's a little over 10 minutes, so I'm going to cut it off there, stop myself ranting, and I will... I'll wait and see how these three go, and then if you guys want to see something similar to this or whatever, give me a yell and we'll get back into it. But you guys stay groovy.